Hi guys, you're with Gary Jonas and this time we're going to find out whether the Q65 Prism Plus latest smart TV is worth your buck. So the Q65 65-inch Smart TV from Prism Plus is a Smart TV worth $999. Of course, they have all their, their stuff about it being 2000 and it's been slashed recently and all that. But I'm just going to give you all, all the good and bad about it. So Aftershock. Aftershock's Prism Plus strikes again. I mean, since its 2017 IT show debut. And frankly speaking, I was there. Um, somewhere around there and honestly I was like this brand has some promising stuff so the Q65 smart TV from Prism Plus is 4k compatible HDR10 compatible 1.07 billion colors and features an IPS panel tech so what does that mean for you basically it means better viewing angles and impressive colors I mean honestly it's 4k for YouTube and Netflix and in our day and age what else do we need right I mean, wasn't channels... Do you even watch channels anymore? I don't. <laughs> the bundle which comes from their website, which I will be placing in the link down below. Um, of course, there's the like and subscribe button there. Just nudging you. So it comes with a free delivery and installation worth $50. A $99 fixed mount and installation worth $150. $159 swivel mount and installation. Of course, these two are optional for $199. I mean, of course, you won't get both. A free antenna for your basic channels, which of course you, you just need to plug in and it's worth $35. And of course, a warranty of three years. Not sure if it's extendable. So who should be getting the Q65? Basically, if you have pre-ordered the PS5, go get yourself a smart TV like this one. Go and get Cyberpunk, blast your ass on it. Well, basically, if you're using Netflix and YouTube most of the time, this is where you're going to get it from. And also Mandalorian. Yeah, just saying. The sound is Dolby Audio and DTS Surround, which basically means pretty awesome, right? But I'll discuss more about that later. And it comes with an Android TV Chromecast, which is great for you because if you have your friends or family over, you can just like whip out your phone and you just like throw off your info over your TV. It's really easy to use. And it comes with a Bluetooth 5.0, which by the way, the remote is Bluetooth. Alright, so let's dive down and deep and let's give you guys more specs, talk to you a little bit more and then come up back on top and then give you guys my verdict, alright, or why I think it's a good buy and yeah, let's go. So the Q65 Smart TV is 3840 by 2160 resolution. It is a 65 inch across, exactly 144.7 cm by 83 cm, and utilizes Google Play Store and has Google Assistant too. So basically, if I say press, I don't need to type it in anymore. I could just like tell them, play for me, post Malone, and then please. It also utilizes a 2.4 gigahertz bandwidth. So the HDMI ports, there are three. One is ARC, the other two is 2.2. So what it means for you as the user is that you can just plug in um, with a HDMI port and you can enjoy um, both 4K for video as well as audio. You don't need to plug it separately. Well, if you plug into the other two, you're just going to get the usual HDMI quality. It also comes with one USB port 2.0 as well as the 3.0 Ethernet ports as well as the usual stuff that you find in a TV port. And if you're looking for faster streaming, the Q65 has Ethernet port as well. Okay, so the Q65 is mounted on a 200 by 200 mm uh, wall mount. And as you can see here, it's pretty nice. Um, the bezel, as actually Prism Plus usually um, promotes that it has zero bezel and stuff, and it's pretty thin. And if you see across from my background, which is not a green screen, <laughs> It's I painted it green recently. Anyway, um, it's pretty nice. It's pretty clean. I love it. 
and yeah I mean behind there's there's quite ample space to to dig your hand around if need be but other than that it's pretty good so it comes with a three pin plug which you need to just plug in as you can see the weird wire there but other than that you can connect to your wi-fi and then you can just stream off your stuff from there in fact look at the remote so they updated the remote from the U, the old one now you can just select the netflix and youtube right there which i think is uh, pretty neat you even have the google assistant too if you need to and okay frankly speaking it's really light i don't have any complaints so let's go back up on top and give you guys more thoughts on the q65 prism plus smart tv so let's talk about warranty of all the things that you see on the warranty manual the one thing that you should take note of is its pixel policy which you have for, for the TVs, right? You need to hit more than seven dead pixels before you can actually ask for a replacement. However, I think there's ways around it. And in fact, when I ordered it, this is not my first time that I purchased something from Prism Plus. So let's talk about price point. For the Q series from Prism Plus, it's going off at 55 inch for 699 Singapore dollars. And for the 65 inch, it's going off at $999. And for the 75 inch, is 1599 so basically i think the 65 inch has the best deal all right so guys it's 2020 right everyone utilizes netflix no one actually watches anything anymore i think that's it's, it's kind of like bittersweet netflix is real good you have everything there aside from that you know you have youtube so you watch on demand right so that's why they're always pushing you for your ads and that's the thing right everyone just can't wait to watch their own stuff and uh like me, I can't wait to watch Mandalorian, can you? And you're kind of looking at 4K because um, we're kind of moving up the spectrum from how it was at 1080p. It was like, whoa, and it was like 70, and it was like 720, and it was like, whoa, but actually, you know, 4K is like now the bare minimum. I mean, of course, we don't usually watch 4K all the time, but you know, as we go up, we'll kind of like progress as human beings. As a society what's great is about the apps because you can download and you can utilize it but there's not really many but you really don't need so many right anyway you actually can chromecast your phone you can connect it to your laptop you can bluetooth your your mouse as well as your keyboard or the screen right you can do everything all that's just like that so if you're looking for like a smart home kind of feel this is the one for you and besides it's really cheap too and i think more importantly, it's like, you gotta stay off your phone, guys. Like, have you guys ever researched how much radiation comes out from that thing? Like, scary, you know? Like, if you're like, holding it like that, it's crazy. So, do yourself a favor, do your family a favor, get your ass off your phone, go on to, to go get a smart TV and watch YouTube together like a family. Okay, so Prism Plus TV does not have like those quantum dot technology or the local dimming and you can't compare it to the OLED TVs because you know, they are on totally different spectrums in a way because of the price point. And of course for the cinematic Dolby surround speakers it does not really sound amazing. I mean, check this out. It's okay. It's okay, but that's the thing. It's okay. But you really can't complain right with the price point do yourself a favor if you're going to buy it grab a soundbar it's really affordable and you know there's loads out there that you can select from and you'll make your, your experience so much better i would say that the dolby surround sound is a loop less luster for my taste but you know you gotta make do with what you gotta do personally i went for some canton speakers but and some other like amps to make it like much better but that's just me i mean for the bezel it's still visible i think it can, they can shave it down a little bit but it's not obtrusive so for the price point it's pretty all right so verdict wise i think for 999 dollars just let's just call it a thousand right for a thousand dollars for a 65 inch smart tv from prism plus the quality well you can experience the plastic below you know it's, it isn't refined but i'm actually proud to have it in my home because the color brightness is really impressive Prism Plus also provides loads of options for you for your layout. So for me, I went, I opted for the mount, but they have the swivel mount as well, so you can like, you know, do things like that. And also they have some stand mounts if you have like, let's say a console, or even they have this artistic like thing. 
like a canvas, you know, you put it like a canvas, but looks kind of funny. All right, so if you're looking for the Q65 Smart TV from Prism Plus, I'll list it down in the description below. All you have to do is just go and click on it, all right? Um, no, it's not sponsored. I'm actually doing this because I think it's good for you, right? And I think that you should get it if it suits your bill and pocket too. So that about wraps up the Q65 review. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more content. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, yo, Gary Jonas and I'll see you guys next time.